um, a very complete team. You talk about habits and standards and you can see the journey they've been on with, um, yeah, just a very robust squad in every way, strong physically, good technically, um, speed in, in the right areas and, and, and a team that, um, that's well coached and belongs where they belong at the moment, uh, which is, you know, the, the, the top, the elite of, of English football. I don't think any of us doubted that he would be a good manager. What what he has done at Arsenal um, is completely in line with his personality. He's, uh, he started with some some tough challenges, but he managed to rally the club behind him. And eventually he's, uh, they've built a team together that is now one of the best teams in the league. And, um, and there was a plan and a method behind it, which you knew he would execute if he was given the time. And, and, and people are seeing it now, but let's let's not forget how he was judged at the beginning, and and let's not forget um, how what what has come what has come to light for him now has been something that he's probably planned since day one. So um, yeah, and as a club and and as a manager, they've done they've done really well. He has a good mix, which is um, intelligence, um, passion, and resilience. So. I think we make it sometimes more complicated than it is. It's like any line of work. You know, you don't go to a bakery and you sack the baker because, you know, all of a sudden he's mis messed up a croissant. You know, if he turns up at four in the morning every day and he's busy until eight o'clock in the evening, 12 o'clock or whatever, you know, eventually he's going he's gonna to be better than the baker next door. And <laughs> it's, it's stupid to say it this way, but I think sometimes we, I get, I get it, it's entertainment, but uh, we, we overcomplicate it, you know, good people do good things and, and, and that's what he is.